Hey guys, it's Joe at Drum Man Productions, and today we want to talk about how the bait drop works and the fish finder. Okay, so we have everything fired up here, everything is all set. All right, the first thing we want to do is show you how to attach the bait drop. The bait drop comes in this little box you'll see inside your carrying case. Very simple. All right, so what you do before you attach it to the drone what you want to do is get some fishing line attach it to your fishing pole or whatever it is that you have attach it you're right you, you tie it on there and you attach your bait bag and this is so if you want to sit there and track some fish to activate this magnet because right here as you see it's not activated as of yet you're going to want to hold in this bait button on the remote and of course you could do that also on the app right here and there's that same little symbol you would hit that so you're going to hold that in and this thing is going to go boom little vibrate to know it's on that the magnet is activated so you hold that in oh there we go now you attach this see now it's on there to release it when it's in the water and i'm going to show you this is either on the app or on the remote you will hold this button and this will vibrate and the weight will release down into the water once you have the bait on the uh on the uh on the bait drop that's it that's all it does and then hopefully you'll have this attached if you want to sit there and be attracted to your fishing line otherwise if you don't have anything attached to it it's just going to go down and you're not going to you're not going to ever get this back all right, so then you reel it back in. That's simply, that's how the, uh, the bait drop works. Next, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna show you how we attach the, the fish finder. All right, this is a great little device. You'll unscrew the top right there. Get yourself a screwdriver, pop off that little device right there. Okay, so then you have inside here, the bottom, you're going to take this and you're going to screw it into the bottom of the drone. And you're gonna to wanna to tighten it up pretty good. And once it hits the water or, you know, you'll hit this and then you see the blue light, it's activated. When you hit this device or this button right there, here, and also you could do it on the app in that uh, we have those four little dots right there you could basically, you'll see that same little icon. You would turn that on. See, it says connecting. Oh, oh, wow, 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 it's actually working. Okay, okay, it's actually working that now. All right, I thought I had to have it out of the water. So I don't, I have it upside down. And what it's doing, as you see, it's showing a readout and it'll show you, there's the ceiling right there. And there's down what's down below and everything. And there's nothing much in this area right here. There's no fish or anything. Yeah, see my hand? See my hand going over, showing some activity there. And that'll show you the fish and everything, just like on a fish fighter. Pretty cool, right? So we want to turn that off. You hit the exit button on it, and then I exit it out. And that's basically, it works a lot better when it's in the water. But that's how that operates. This goes in the bottom, and then you can sit there and put the fish finder on, see everything, see the bottom and everything, what's going on. It just sends out a signal to sonar and everything whatsoever. Very important, do not take this out of the water without locking up the motors, okay? And of course you have your lock button on here, the red lock button right there. Unlock, unlock once it's in the water, un and lock it before you take it out of the water. Get it out of the water, I wanna take this off. You want to clean this with fresh water. Make sure you get it all nice and dry blow out the, uh, the little uh, connectors there and make sure everything is nice and dry. Shake off all the water, let this dry out. Replace, once this, you know, if there's any water or any moisture inside there, blow it out, make sure it's all clean and everything. You do not wanna store this with there's any dampness or moisture or anything that will cause damaging and everything. Particularly like if you were in salt water, you're gonna wanna make sure you get this freshly clean, the motors and everything 
off when it's outside the water and uh, you get everything clean. So that's basically it for the fish finder. Put the cap back on. Now the nice thing about the cap, I'm sorry about that, let me back this up a second, is that you can attach fish line to this. Put tie some fish line and screw that on, have your fishing pole, cast it out in the water, and you can use the sonar on your tablet to look for the fish because it'll bob around on the water like a bobber and send out the signal. And you'll see the uh, the ground and then you'll see any fish activity or anything like that. And then you can cast your other pole or whatnot into the water. And there you go, there's your fish. Fishing made easy with the Power Ray, Power, uh, Power Vision underwater sub. All right, uh, looks good, looks great. Thanks for watching. Overview again, bait drop, demonstration, and fish finder. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon in the next installment. Thank you very much. Any questions, comments, let me know. I'll answer, and I answer everybody back. Thank you again. Salute. Have a great night. Talk to you later.